close But first tell me that you already know that Just because I'm silent doesn't mean that I'm not trying I can't look you in the eye, it doesn't mean I'm lying, no Before it's too late, I just gotta let you know Did I think you're my tangerine dream? Sun in my head, the rain in my sleep Let me fall so Knowing that you'll always catch me Cause you're my tangerine dream I want nothing else So we can be all I ever know Dripping over my Hello, my beautiful babes, and welcome back to CDS Lily Luna. Today we're going to be learning a very sexy, very sensual, intermediate burlesque routine to the song Tangerine Dream. This song is dreamy. I love it. It just calls for like gooey, sensual energy, divine feminine all over the place. So I hope you are as excited to learn this routine as I am to teach it to you. For me, there are a couple types of burlesque that we do in this membership. So the first kind is like the jazzy, classic burlesque that we have come to know and love. The second kind is really like sexy, almost like grinding burlesque. And then the third is more like slow, sensual, and really just tapping into our feels and that divine feminine energy. And they are all completely different forms of sexy, forms of sensuality. And so for this routine, really make sure that you are playing into that. It's not overly raunchy. We're not being really big and bold at all. We are really like slowing things down and taking our time through this entire routine. So if you're ready, we will go ahead and begin with our intention and then we will get straight into the choreo. So coming into a comfortable position, maybe placing the hands on the heart, the womb space, or one on each, whatever feels best in your body. And I want you to just take the biggest deep breath in that you've taken all day in through the belly, the ribs, the chest, holding at the top. Exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. On this next breath, I want you to see this white, sparkling, glittering energy of light starting to fill your entire body, running from the tips of your toes, out through the crown of your head, surrounding you in this white, glittering energy of light, of positivity, of happiness, of joy, and of most importantly, being embodied and present in your body. Like I said at the beginning of class, this routine is really slow, it's really gooey, and it gives us time to be very, very present in our bodies because the music isn't fast and there's not a lot going on in the choreography. It's very slow, sexy movements, which is sometimes a lot harder than the faster, more upbeat, a lot of things going on choreo. So our intention for this class is to allow ourselves to be slow, to be intentional, and to be present. So breathe this intention in through your entire body, allowing it to fill you up one last time with this sparkling white energy. Go ahead and open your eyes, come back into the space, come back into the light. I hope you feel so good and ready to get in your feels, into these gooey, sexy vibes, okay? So if you're ready, grab some heels, grab some knee pads if you need them, and we will get started. All right, my love, so if you're ready, let's get started. We start this routine when she says in the song, just because I'm quiet doesn't mean that I'm not trying, okay? So we start in our bevel position, our heels are together, our toes are apart, and we have our left knee crossed in front of the other leg. We're going to walk one, and we're going to stay looking at the ground. So one, yes, we step. And then we have another step, and we're gonna look to the camera as we bring our left finger to our lips. Whew. Yeah, so quiet, 
quiet. And that's a very sexy moment because you're not doing a lot. So I'm gonna make sure that what you are doing is powerful and sexy. So starting from the top, five, six, seven, and just because I'm quiet, and you just kind of let it come down your lips. And then we're gonna step out to the side and do a figure eight hip roll, one, two. And we're just have our hands here, and we go ka, ka. Yes, so one, two, we're gonna bring that left leg back into our bevel as we take our hands around our chest, and we kind of sit with the knees bent a little bit, and the palms are down. So we take it around, down. Yes, it says, does it mean that I'm not trying? Yes, okay. So let's do all of that again from the top. Five, six, seven, and just because I'm quiet doesn't mean that I'm not trying. Yes, and you kind of want to like breathe with that and then settle into the legs. Ka, ka. This is kind of like a who me moment where our knees are bent. We have our bevel going on, but we're really like sitting into that right hip, okay? From here, we're going to take our left arm to step and turn us to the back, okay? She says, I can look you in the eye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step, step, hand, hand. Yes, and then head with up. So the speed of it looks like this. One, two, three, four, whew. Yes, and we are stepping left, turning right. We go, we take our left palm, and when you, when you bend over here, make sure that you're holding your core in because you do have to come straight back up. So if you let yourself go forward too much, it's gonna be really hard to head with up and get back to the front, which is what we do for the next move. And the reason that this is an intermediate routine is because there's a lot of balance involved in this routine. And for a beginner, it would be very hard to find the core stability and to engage our legs properly to do this routine, so that's why it is intermediate. So focus on your core stability, focus on really putting a lot of strength into your legs, especially when you do things like bend over or turn on the leg. Those things, your stability and your balance are going to make it look really seamless and really beautiful, okay? So make sure you're thinking about those there. So we just did ka, ka. We step one, turn two. We go one, two. So right on the poom poom there, one, two. And then we just head up, up. And then you're gonna turn back to the front the same way that you just turned to the back. You're gonna turn to the front except this time you're dragging that right leg into your bevel. So you're just dragging the feet together. All right, so let's do all of that from that breath moment, and then we will do it from the top slowly, okay? So we breathe in, one, two, take the hands around the chest, ka, one, two, hand, hand, head whip up, we turn back to the front, to kind of come back into the seated, kind of like bent knee position. When we were facing the front, we just did it, but now we're kind of facing the side, okay? Because we're gonna do a head whip, and you really wanna be like deep in your plie there, okay? So when you turn, everything's together, and then you can lower that other heel if you want for the next move. So let's do all of that from the top really, really slowly, and then we'll do it with music, okay? So we went from the top in our bevel position, looking down at the ground, five, six, seven, and walk, lips, figure eight. And when you're doing a figure eight, if you've never done these with me before, you think about taking the hip to the front, to the back, to the front, to the back. So you're literally drawing an eight with your hips. This comes from Latin ballroom motion. But you think about taking the hips diagonal around back, diagonal around back. So we're just doing two. One, two. Really getting into those hips. We take everything around and sit like in this little classic burlesque position. Then we turn step, step, one, two. 
Head width up, we turn back to the front and sit into our plie, okay? So making sure that we really let the hips go here, we really breathe into this part, making sure that our balance is really stable when we bend over, and then making sure that we have a stopping point here to go into the next move, okay? All right, let's do all of that now with music. Come close. First tell me that you already know that Just because I'm silent doesn't mean that I'm not trying I can't look you in the eye, it doesn't mean I'm lying, no. Alright my loves, I hope that went super well for you. If it didn't, we are going to do it so many more times, so don't stress out about it. If you did lose your balance, just know the thing that you need to focus on for this class is the balance. And taking your time and slowing down sometimes really messes with our balance. And so being able to settle into that and just know that it's like gonna get better every single time that you do it. And just try not to rush the routine, try not to rush the steps because the music does call for that slow and sexy pace, okay? So let's walk it from the top really slowly and then we will add on from there. So starting in our bevel position, Five, six, seven, and walk, lips, figure eight, ha, sit. We step, turn, one, two, up, turn to the front, and settle here. So you should end in this bent position. From here, I'm placing my hands on my thighs to do a headbutt to the front. Yes. So one, it's kind of quick, but we go around and we're going to step with this right foot as we take our left hand over our right arm. And we're just pushing that arm back behind us as we caress it with the other hand, okay? So we did head whip down. We step one, two. We're going to step to the side as we do a booty suit three, four, and you're gonna end in this like heels position. <sighs> Thighs drawing together, feet really drawing together. Everything is really strong and stable in this position. We booty swoop up, and then we're going to head whip. Yes, as we bring the hands back up the thighs. So one more time, just like that, we turn to the front with our bent legs, we hair whip. We step across as we open up that arm and take the left arm to push it back. We step to the side, booty swoop, really arching that back, and then we hair whip, five, six, seven. Okay, just one more little move here before we put it all together. We just hair whipped. We're going to bring the feet together and slide the hands down the thighs to come into this squatting position, okay? So we just did our hair whip, so you're gonna bring that left leg in, and you wanna make sure that you have some space in between your feet as you go down, and kind of arch the back here, making sure that you're really touching those thighs, and you kind of lift the chin just a little bit as you go down, like a little breath again, and then you're going to open the thighs into our sexy burlesque squat, our hands are just opening up the knees and we're looking over at that right shoulder. So we slide down, down, down. Okay, amazing job. Okay, let's do all of that again from, let's go back from the breath again. Okay, five, six, seven, and breathe, sit, turn, turn, one, two, I'm putting my plan here. Hair whip up, we turn back to the front, we hair whip, whoom, really bending in those knees, making sure you're putting your heels on the ground so that you don't fall over. Whoom. We step across as we push the arm open, your palm is just really flat here, open, we booty swoop to the left, we hair whip, we take it down, one, two, three, and then we open, whoom. yes. So we look, 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 open. So after we finish this, I'm gonna 
give you actually one little piece of the floor work because it's a pretty long section, so I don't want you to get overwhelmed once we get on the floor. So we're here. We're going to go knee, knee. The knees should be together. Make sure you untuck the toes. You're going to slide the left hand down your body and you're going to have this other hand in your hair as you open the thighs, up, slide. Yes, it says, you're my tangerine dream. <laughs> yes, so that's really just like a moment. You're taking the knees out, in, out. So it's a lot of thigh strength and you wanna make sure you have your knee pads on if you need them because it can be definitely hard on your knees. So we take it one, so the hand is going down the body, up the body, back down. It's basically mimicking what we're doing with the thighs. So we go down, up, down, and then to finish this section, we're going to do a head with all the way to the back. And you're really just releasing your hair here. And you're taking your fingers up on tented fingers, around to the right side, yes? So we just go ha, ha, ha. So you're already in this position with the legs really wide, okay? So let's do all of that again from the hair whip, and then we'll do it all from the top slowly before we do it with music, okay? So we just did our hair whip in our bent legs. We step across open, we booty swoop up, 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 we hair whip, we take it down, 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 open, good. We take it knee, knee, the knees are together. We slide it one, two, three, and then we take it and a little hair whip, okay? Amazing job. This is really slow, this slide, and then this comes really fast. So just make sure that you're picking up on the nuances when you watch it through with music because there are a couple fast parts in this song that are really important to note and then the rest of it is really slow and gooey. All right, my love, so let's do it from the top really slowly and then we will run it with music up until there. There's just one section left after this section, so it's all floor work. So you are doing such an amazing job. Don't forget your intention, don't forget to breathe, and really just focus on feeling good in your body, okay? So let's do it from the top, slowly. In our bubble position, five, six, seven, and walk, lips, figure eight, breath, and turn, turn, hand, hand, whip it up, turn to the front, hair whip, around, we step push, we booty swoop, we hair whip, we take it down, down and open, knee, knee together, open and open, take it around, around, around. Yes, amazing job my loves. Okay, let's run it now with music. Come close, but first tell me that you are at me. Just because I'm silent doesn't mean that I'm not trying I can't look you in the eye, it doesn't mean I'm lying, no Before it's too late, I just gotta let you know That I think you're my tangerine dream Amazing job, my loves. I know you absolutely slayed it that time. I'm so proud of you. You just have one section left of this routine and it is all on the floor. So we just did our one, two, three, we hair whip. From here, we're doing a little half split situation. You're gonna come up to all fours. So we just did, you're gonna let this take you to all fours. You're gonna let the head whip take you. And then you're gonna extend your left leg forward as you keep that right leg bent up. Okay, and I'm really not in a full split. I'm kind of like diagonal. So like my leg isn't really straight in front of me. It's kind of to the side. So I'm not actually in a full split, but it still looks really, really sexy and a little bit easier to do than actually jumping into a split. 
So you're here, you're going to extend that foot out and keep that back leg bent. Okay? From here, you're going to turn everything over and come down to your back. Ka, ka. So let's go ahead and break that down and I'll show you how to get to the back. It's really not a cute process to get there, but sometimes you have to go through the ugly to get to the sexy. Just make sure that the ugly is really quick, okay? That is something that my mentor, Tia Cakes, used to say, get through the ugly to get to the sexy. Make sure the ugly is very short. So, this is really sexy, right? So we extend the leg forward, we press it up, and using my palms to keep me lifted here. From here, I let that back leg go, and I just turn everything around to face the opposite direction, and I extend my legs straight up in the air. I think in the video, my legs were crossed like this because that's how they went up. It really doesn't matter. Just keep the legs up in the air, whether you want to have them crossed or straight. From here, we're going to do a little swoop scoop all the way around. And this is one of our burlesque moves that we've done in my tutorials. We swoop the legs to the right, all the way around in a circle like you're scooping ice cream, allowing the booty to move you in that circle. You're going to kick left, right. You're going to split the legs open and then drop the head back so they go separately. So you go slow, 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 drop the head, bring everything up, bend the knees, and then bring everything forward. Yes, okay, so that's a lot. Let's go back and do all of that, okay? So we just did, um, we came from our little hair whip. Boom. We turned to the side, came to all fours. We're going to extend the left leg forward, bend the right knee, making sure everything is pointed, really lifting up here. My boob is showing, it's fine. <laughs> this, this outfit was not made for this dance. We're going to swoop everything around to the side, and then you're gonna take it back and up. So no matter how you get here, just make sure you get down to your back, and then I bend the knees before I lift them up, okay? We're going to scoop everything around, doesn't matter which direction, I take it to the front and then to the back, making sure your heels are glued together. We're going to open, we're going to do a kick, kick, it's pretty quick, ka, ka. We split, 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 drop the head, together, bend the knees. So from here, after we go here, we bend the knees, and as we straighten the knees, we fall forward. And it's just like a little collapsing moment before our next move, and it's actually really pretty when you do it um, quickly, because everything else is kind of slow, and then this part is like, shoot, you close back into yourself, making sure that your toes are really, really pointed there. Okay? All right, that's a lot. Let's do all of that one more time before we finish the ending because we're almost done, okay? And make sure that you just don't get in your head about this part. Like, modify anything that you need to. This half split thing, like, if it doesn't feel good for you, you can do something else. You can just, like, extend that foot forward and then sink on the hip and then take it around to the side. You really can always modify these moves but they are already modified in some ways. Like the split is a half split, and for this, we do the split facing the side, that way that it's an illusion of a full split, right? So there are things that we do intentionally to make it look a little bit more advanced than it really is, right? <laughs> so let's go from the hair whip here. We take everything around. Like I said, this hair whip allows us to come to all fours. We extend this out as we lift the back leg. Yes. Bring everything around to the side. Take the knees up. From here we scoop everything around. We do a little kick, kick. We slowly open. We drop the head. We bring it all together. Bend, straighten, and fold. Yes. Amazing job. So it's all a little bit quicker than that, but you will see it with music and you'll be able to kind of pick up, your, pick up your speed a little bit, okay? So we end here, folding over the legs. From here, we're going to do a little pike with the hips 
and my boobs are probably going to show in this part. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> this outfit is just not loving this move. So we're going to fold. From here, you're going to turn over your right shoulder. You're going to plant your palms down, and you're going to lift your hips into the air. If you can see, this is kind of like downward dog in the hands, but I'm pecking my hips higher, my feet are scooted in, and I'm literally pressing on the tips of my heels. Pike. You're going to continue this motion as you fall down onto your left hip to turn to the front. Okay, so it's literally just a continuous motion. So we pick it up. I'm going to scoot back towards this here so I don't run out of room. We take it forward. We turn over our right shoulder to pike the hips. We lower down onto that left hip and we just keep rolling. We will end in this position. So you end facing the front, kind of in the sideline position. You're going to come down onto your forearm and we're going to extend the leg on tangerine. So we just kick it up, extend, and then it says dream. We're going to keep going down towards the ground as we just bring the legs together. <laughs> My boob is showing. Bring the legs together and you kind of put your hand over your head. Dream. Yes. So it goes, you're my tangerine dream. And then here, we continue rolling to our back. There's like a little beat in the music. My hands are up over my head. I look towards the front really quickly. And then I allow myself to come up in our little goddess rising um, move where we pull the spine down to the earth and then let everything drag up. And that is the end of your routine. So give yourself a round of applause. I know this ending is a lot. So let's go through it a couple times just to make sure you feel really good in it. But first, I want to go through specifically, we just ended here in our folds. Let's go through all of that again really slowly. And then we'll do the whole floor work together. So we end, we are going to turn over that right shoulder, pike the hips. This is really quick, and then we make sure that we continue going, continue going, continue going, just until you get back to this position on the ground. So we're here. You want to come down to the forearm, tangerine. We go dream. And this is like a, this whole song has been breaths and breaths and breaths. This is our like final moment. And then we continue rolling to our back. Our knees are bent and our arms are extended up. We do a quick look to the front. You'll hear the beat in the music. And if you watch the full run through, you'll see what I'm talking about. Cut. And then we rise up five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I think she says so on that part. So that's where we rise up, okay? So things to think about here is to just keep moving. So when we do the laying forward and we pipe and we roll you're just moving the whole time this part is a little bit more like ka, ka, hum. yeah it's a little bit slower a lot less going on but you're still continuously moving until you get to this part okay so let's do everything from the beginning of the floor work till the end slowly then we'll walk it from the top slowly and then we'll do it with music three times so going from this slide, okay? Five, six, seven, and slide, and slide. Hair work around to all fours. We extend the leg, bend the back leg. Boom. Turn everything over the shoulder, come down, and lift it up. We go swoop, kick, kick. We open, drop the head, everything up and forward we turn over our right shoulder we pipe we drop it down we keep turning to the front and extend that leg slowly drop it slide we turn everything over we look and then we press it up up and up okay amazing job my loves i 
hope it's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable in your body. Let's go ahead and walk it from the top slowly. So taking it from the top, starting in our bevel position, five, six, seven, and walk, lips, we figure eight, breath, and turn, turn, one, two, whip it up, turn to the front, we hair whip, boom. we step up, cross, and push, we do a booty swoop, and then hair whip, we take it together and down, 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 open, knee, knee, one, two, three. We hair whip around, we bring everything to all fours, we extend everything out into our half split, we turn over that left shoulder and come down to the back. We swoop, kick, kick, open, drop the head, and bring it up, boom, turn over that right shoulder, pipe, continue to the front, extend the leg, drop it, dream, bring it down, turn, 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 lift, and take it up, six, seven. When we do this, making sure that just on this last move, we're really using our arms, we're using our core to really lift us up. And the head is the last thing to come up. And you're also really using the heels on your heel to dig into the ground to lift you up. This dance, just like any of our other burlesque classes, is all about the feeling, right? So I don't care if you get the steps, if you don't really embody the energy of the dance, if you're not able to feel it into your body, right? So make sure that's the number one priority when we run this with music. We are going to do it three times at the end as always. So the first time really focusing on the choreography and really getting the choreo into our bodies, making that the main priority. The second time that we do it, we're going to focus more on our character. Who are we talking to? What is the energy of the space and how are we connecting to the music? And then the third time we are going to pretend that we are on stage performing this in glitter and lingerie and fringe, whatever you picture yourself in, this is the time to really perform it like you are on stage, like this is your final time dancing this routine and video yourself if you would like or whatever puts you into that space for me usually is putting a camera in front of me unless I am in a classroom full of students or full of other dancers. So do something that makes you feel like you are tapping into that energy of performing for that third round. All right, my loves, take a moment to come back to your intention, come back to your body, grab some water, and we will do this routine three times. Come close, but first tell me that you already know that just because I'm silent doesn't mean Trying. I can't look you in the eye It doesn't mean I'm lying no. Before it's too late I just gotta let you know That I think you're my tangerine dream The sun in my head The rain in my sleep Then mm before -hmm. so Always catch me Cause you're my tangerine team I want nothing else So We can But first tell me that you already know that Just because I'm silent doesn't mean that I'm not trying I can't look you in the eye It doesn't mean I'm lying, no Before it's too late I just gotta let you know That I think you're my tangerine dream The sun in my head, the rain in my sleep Then we fall so Knowing that you'll always catch me Cause you're my tangerine dream I want nothing else So First tell me that you already know that Just because I'm silent doesn't mean that I'm not trying I can't look you in the eye, it doesn't mean I'm lying, no Before it's too 
you lay it lay. I just gotta let you know That I think you're my tangerine dream The sun in my head, the rain in my sleep Let me fall so Knowing that you'll always catch me Like I'm actually dancing with you in person. I love sharing this space with you, this dance floor with you, and especially when we do styles such as burlesque, where it's a really deep connection to self. It's such a beautiful experience to get to share with you. If you enjoyed this class, definitely make sure to post it on Instagram, at Ashlyn Tori or at Studio Solo Luna. And if you didn't know already, a very special program is launching tomorrow if you're watching this the day that it comes out, or it has already launched. So make sure to check out the link below to either get on the wait list or to sign up for a discovery call with me to learn more about this exciting new experience and this new program that I cannot wait to share with you. I love you babes, to the moon and back, and I will see you here on the dance floor or the yoga mat very soon.